This is baby warmer with resuscitation unit. There are two sensors in this machine. One is the air sensor, which is to be placed on the mattress or on the side support, and it is to be taken care that it is not covered. And this is the skin sensor, which is to be placed on the baby's abdomen. So now I'll start with the machine, the warmer. Put on the power switch. Machine is doing the self testing now. The machine is now working. This is the skin temperature. This is the air temperature. You can see right now the mode is skin mode and it is showing skin temperature set 36.5 and you can see the alarms blinking over here. Now to set the skin temperature press the set button with the up and down key you can set the desired temperature like right now I have set it to 36 after pressing setting the temperature press the enter key now the temperature is set you have to also check that you have fitted the appropriate sensor at the given point like skin sensor in the skin area air sensor in the air area if you interchange then you will face difficulties in the temperature rising always make sure that you have connected the right sensor at the right places if you want to change the mode to air press the mode key now you can see the LED is glowing on air this is how you change the mode from skin to air here also you can set the temperature by pressing the set key up and down arrow keys to set the temperature now you can set the low alarm also whether you want it 1 degree or 1.5 degree or however you can set it like right now it is to 1 degrees so if the temperature is 1 degree lower than the set temperature it will continuously beep like like this if you mute the alarm it will be muted for 10 minutes after 10 minutes it will again start again press the mode key it will go into the manual mode manual mode you can see the time for how many minutes it will be in manual mode and the percentage of heater output right now this is 25 percent you can increase to 100 percent or decrease up till 5 percent after this time gets over the machine will automatically change itself into skin mode Uh, this is the timer key by pressing the timer key you can see the upguard you press it again it will get off to keypad lock the machine to keypad lock the machine press the enter key long the keypad will get locked you will get the alarm now you see no buttons are working other than mute only the mute key will work in the lock keypad lock mode if you want to unlock press the enter key again keypad unlocked this is the examination light it is rotatable so you can adjust it according to your convenience plus when you are using the machine always take care
that uh, there is an attendant. Never leave the baby unattended. Right now what the readings you are seeing is in degree centigrade. If you want it to change it to Fahrenheit mode, long press the down arrow key. Now you can see the readings in degree Fahrenheit. The LED of degree Fahrenheit is growing. Now the readings are in degree Fahrenheit. So if you want to set the temperature, it will also be in Fahrenheit. And again you want to go into degree centigrade. Long press the... Long press. It will change to degree centigrade. These are the acrylic side supports. Uh, they, these are these are polycarbonate side supports to remove, lift it, and drop. Accessible from three sides, so you can do the procedure on baby. And once done, the procedure is done. You can lock them again. This head up and down facility on both the sides. This is how the head up will be done on one side, other side, same way. Head up. There's a slot given so you can put the fingers, lift the tray, and head up is possible. There is x ray plate facility. You can insert the x-ray plate through the slot. You can put the x-ray plate over here and slide it. You can take the x-ray. This is the IV handle. So to use the IV, according to the height, this is slide down and slide up. And you can lock it accordingly. This is handle for mounting the infusion pump. Side tray to keep monitor. Take care that uh, the weight of the monitor should not be more than 10 kgs. Tiltable source for X-ray procedure. And this is fiber source. You can see. Then we have under surface phototherapy provision you can keep the under surface phototherapy on this tray the wheels are lockable to lock the wheel press it down to open put it up we have given it in cross so that the machine doesn't move this is this is the tp's resuscitator and the accessories of the same which comes with the machine is the oxygen connection tube the patient tube this is this is autoclavable and two sides of face mask this is the test lung i'll show you the connections but before that the oxygen tubing one end goes to the inlet of the machine and the other end will go to your uh, humidifier bottle or this uh, oxygen cylinder or the central line however is uh, what whatever you have in your uh, hospital so i'll attach it to my oxygen bottle over here the patient tubing is attached to the outlet to patient the minimum flow required for using the machine is 5 liters now i'll show you how to set the See, uh, positive pressure attach the test lung clockwise lock the PWP valve anti-clockwise it will reduce the pressure clockwise right now we have to increase the pressure turn the PIP knob clockwise to lock it and the maximum pressure relief valve
once the knobs are locked clockwise put your thumb on the PWP valve anti-clockwise set the maximum pressure relief right now I am setting it to 30 you can set it according to your convenience maybe 25 20 as per your requirement right now I am setting it to 30 and to show you the working I am putting the peak inspiratory pressure PIP to 20 by rotating it anti-clockwise after setting this I am releasing my thumb and setting the PWP pressure to 6. You can see a positive pressure on the lung to give peak inspiratory pressure you just have to put your thumb on the knob and you can see the pressure what we have set is going and once we release it it comes back to 6 you can see the lung movement also we recommend to use it with central oxygen or oxygen cylinder please do not use oxygen concentrators now you can see the pressure settings are done so you can remove the test lung attach a face mask and now this is ready to use on the baby see to it you cover it properly if there is a leakage there will be no pressure on the baby you can't see a positive pressure 